So in here we have our cart items all, but if we look back into our cart itself, we will see that it's coming off of the variation. So the instance is actually the variation, not the cart item itself. So if we want the cart item itself, we would do cart item set dot all and refresh in here. And that gives us the actual cart item, which means that we can loop through here and I'll do for item in object dot cart item set dot all in for, I can say item, I can say item dot quantity and so on. If I refresh in here, it will show me those two things. So that's important because if I just did variation or excuse me, our object dot items dot all and refresh, it just says default. It only gives me the item instance itself, but variation or cart item set gives me the actual cart item. So you can still grab the related model the way you would anyway with a um, cart foreign key. All right, so since we have this, let's go ahead and put this into a table. I'll say table class is equal to table. And we're gonna close off the table after the for loop. And then we'll put in a table row here, table column for the item, table column for the quantity, and close off the table row. I refresh in here, I now see that there's the default, the quantity, and then we could have the line total, which is something we would probably want at some point. So I'm gonna just space the tables out a little bit better. And this is gonna be line total, which we haven't done yet, but it's eventually gonna be there. So in our model, we should put line total in here. All right, so now we've got our cart. Let's go back into this view. Get rid of this. Before I even get into the line total, I'm gonna to add another one called remove. So this is gonna be a remove button and I'll do a href equals to, first off, I'll just do the hash to put it in and say remove as in remove item. And I'm going to just add a style of text align right. And I believe there's even a class called text right, which does that automatically. Let's cut that out and see. And there is. So we have this remove here, or we could just put an X, which usually signifies remove. So X is there. Um, so since we have this, let's actually think about how we want to remove this. Now, if we look at our model for cart item, we could put an instance method here called remove. And we would do define remove and itself. And it's going to return, well, the different arguments for the item. So it'd be reverse and it's cart. So we have to import reverse. So from django.core.url resolvers import reverse. So cart is going to give the URL for the cart. And then we want to add in the arguments itself. So I'm going to just use string substitution for this. So the arguments itself would be uh, self.item.id. And then that's pretty much all we really need here is the item ID and whether or not we want to remove it. So this is going to be question mark or is first off percent S slash question mark. It's going to reverse the cart. And then we're going to say item equals to percent s and then finally delete that use the ampersand and delete equals to true all right so let's go back into our view and we're going to add just item dot remove just so we can see it first and it's showing us and seven and item is equal to cart that's not what we want so going back into our view product detail or excuse me our instance method, we have these two reversed. So it should be cart and then self.imid refresh in here. So we have cart and notice there's already a slash or a trailing slash on it. So we are going to get rid of that. So now we've got this cart item delete and that is equal to true. So that's a, that's a good actual URL that we're going to be working with. Um, so there is one more thing that I could do to make this even better, which would be getting the add to cart method or creating an add to cart method for the instance itself of variation. So let's actually do that inside of the variation product. So inside of the variation product, we're going to go to products and go to models. And this is going to be add to cart inside of the variation. 
So this is going to be the default method, default add to cart, and this is going to be self, and it's going to return. And for us, we're going to be doing the reverse again. Reverse is already in, in, here. So it's going to be roughly the same thing, but let's go back and look at our cart. I'm going to copy this whole thing. Paste that in here. So now it's going to say QTY equals to just one. So this is our default add to cart. And of course it's going to cart and self.item instead of self.item, it's just self.id. So this is actually adding it to the cart. So since we have this, go back into our models. Remove is now going to be self.item. So it's going to be self.item.get, or excuse me, add to cart. So that's going to give us that string of add to cart. And then all I need to do here is add a question mark and say delete equals to true and use the string substitution here. And they're like, well, geez, if we have this, we might as well add this exact same thing to remove to cart on the variation. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this and remove from cart. And now it's just going to be and delete equals to true. And again, the quantity doesn't necessarily have to be here but these ampersands do. In this case, the quantity definitely does not have to be here, but the cart, reverse cart does. And we could do remove, to cart, remove from cart being the same as what we had here. Um, but really, I'm gonna not have it as the same only because we might wanna change how we actually delete the cart or the URL on remove from cart. We might change it in the future. So now I'm just gonna change remove to being self dot remove from cart, remove from cart and remove from cart, perfect. So this allows us to actually remove that item from the cart using the model variation itself. Now it's a little bit redundant, but the only reason I'm doing that is so in here, inside of my view, I don't have to necessarily do item.item.remove from cart, although those would come the exact same way. Um, so let's go back into our view and make sure that all of this is working correctly. So we have this do not have enough arguments for formatting string. So we have our string substitution here. We've got our cart and ID. So there's two there, two there. Let's go back into our models. There's two here too. So it looks like ah, this right here we don't need. We need the ampersand. That's it. And we refresh and now it works. So these, these are coming in the exact same way, um, which is good. That's what we want to see. All right, so back into our view. We're going to get rid of this item.remove, cut it out, and paste it here. And we can get rid of this one now, too. There we go. We refresh. And now if I hit X, it actually removes that item, which is good. And now item itself, I want to get the title. So I'll say get title. And we don't have a method for that in our instance itself. so. I'll define that method, get title, and we're going to say self, and it's going to return self.item.title. So that returns the title itself, which is not actually what we want, because if it's default, it's going to have to be the product itself. So instead, I'll do a string su substitution again, and this time it's going to be self.product, or excuse me, self.item dot product dot title and self dot item dot title. We refresh in here and there we go. Now we have our item title stuff. Perfect. So again, this is something that we could add into our instant method for the variation itself, which is something we absolutely should do. So I'm going to cut, cut this out. Add it in as get title, get rid of self.item. There we go. So get title is there. And now the get title in here is not necessary. So going back into our view, this is item to item, get title, and it's coming through as the same. All right, so now we have this title. It's showing us this default. If we go back into our home and get a few other things, add that to cart, 16 gigs. Add eight gigs, 
now we have the various products that are coming in here. And notice it's coming based off of the variation instead of based off of anything else. All right, so the next part would be actually updating the item itself beyond just closing it out. So if we wanted to change the item quantity itself, we would have to change exactly how this form is going to work. And that's something we'll do in the next one.